start off here today. She's looking nice and good. I love the way she's coiled up. That's always a good sign. Because I know she ovulated. So we're just going to hope that she lays. She refused food yesterday. Which is also a good sign. Usually uh, they stop eating. But sometimes I have ones that will eat all the time. And not her. She doesn't eat. She, well she eats but she didn't eat yesterday. And this one here. Did not eat yesterday either. And I'm going to get her out. And I'm going to weigh her in a second here. And we're going to go see how much she weighs okay guys and then we'll compare and see if she's gained any weight whatsoever so let me get that all set up and we'll do that all right hold on okay guys if you guys could see she has a big bulge right there which i'm hoping are eggs uh she's put on like almost a thousand grams since the beginning of breeding season hold on let me put her in here let me set this this way so you guys can see her crawling in I mean, look at that. That is just solid. And it's huge. See how big it is? See it? Can you see? No, 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 no. You cannot go under. You cannot go that way. You have to go that way. But if you look, she is pretty big. Let's get in and get you really big there. So, she's building eggs. She's refusing to eat. So, so... I'm hoping she is solidly round right here. Just massive. Look at that. That's all solidness. <laughs> it's crazy. Now she's in that mood like, come on in here and I'll bite you. So I'm just waiting for either to go in because she shed not that long ago. I got to look at her records to see when she shed. And uh, she shed not that long ago. So we'll have to do it, you know, compare her that way and see what happens. And uh, we'll go from there. Uh, that's all I can do. And this girl down here on the bottom is in shed, so we're waiting for her to shed out. And this girl here, she just shed out, so hopefully, you know. No, we're waiting for her to go into shed because she just ovulated. So I wrote down the ovulation day, so uh, I believe... Uh, 17 to three weeks after that they go into the shed and then they'll but we'll have to wait and see and she refused to eat too so that's that's also a great uh sign so we'll see how this goes um some of the males refuse to eat but not all the males refuse to eat the lesser spider girl over here ate, and she is getting big. When she's up to size, I'm getting a male specifically in to breed with her, and um, we'll see how that goes, huh? And then over here, uh, this one here, ate, she ate yesterday, but still... You know, hopefully she goes to soon. And we'll, uh, we'll, I'll be right back. Oh, yeah, by the way, I, I use Reptile Scan. I do. I use Reptile Scan, as you can see there. But I also write everything down because I don't trust everything completely. I'm double record keeper. Double record keeping. And then we'll see how that goes, huh? All right, we're going to go from here. Hold on, I'll be right back. Like I said yesterday, well, yesterday's live vlog, Becky has decided to get rid of them because she wants to, like, make it easier uh, for the... She wants to do the Burmese pythons because it'll be easier with, every, with all the reptiles we have to have the snakes and all that. So... You know, that's the way that's going to go. Um, so we're going to go down that route. 
she really likes doing that too and it's amazing to me that uh you know we used to do it years ago the the her and i well her she used to do the berms i used to do the retic she used to do them both together combined and uh things went really smooth so that's what she wants to do again because she really likes the berms they're they, i like the berms too they're one of my favorite and she likes the berms also so that's where we're going with it um what else was i gonna say hmm don't know don't know we're gonna start doing lives where we invite people in to just like uh other people do uh i used to do it when i was part of really big in the fish community i used to go on live um uh streams all the time but now we're gonna do it this way so with the reptiles also and uh the podcast we're gonna get that running we had it running before we're gonna keep it going so all right guys we will be back okay guys i'm back uh what we're gonna do is we are going to probably just it's going to be a short vlog today and i do apologize for that but i find sundays uh the vlogs don't get a lot of view time anyway so i'm gonna keep them somewhat short on sundays if that's okay with uh, you guys uh so that's what we're gonna do um what else are i gonna say guys hmm i'm not sure i got the incubators all set up and ready to go uh, i just gotta hope that these ball pythons um start laying eggs soon uh the anticipation is tough even if you've been doing this for as long as i have the anticipation of waiting for eggs just will drive you crazy uh, and especially when you're first doing it. I know when I was first doing it, I opened up the incubator every day. Boom, 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 boom. So um, I suggest uh, if you guys are first-time breeders out there, patience uh, is a virtue. I really don't have patience very well, <laughs> as most people will soon find out. Uh, it's very cold outside today, too. Uh, I don't mean to change subjects like this. I'm just trying to get everything in in this short little video today. Uh it's uh cold outside today there's gonna be no tarantulas in here because i'm not going over there messing with the tarantulas right now um like i said the cold has gotten to me i've been sick a little bit the last few days feeling better now it's only a matter of time before i get better and better and better because i'm slowly getting over the cold and uh we're gonna go from there then i guess uh Anybody have any questions? Let's make this a Q&A. If there's any questions, you guys can ask me any questions you want. All right. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Tell people about the channel. Please, 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 please share the channel. And uh, thank you for being a subscriber. All right, guys. This video is going to be a Q&A. If anybody has any questions, any questions. I will do my best to answer them. If I find that there are questions that I don't want to answer, I'll just put I'm not going to answer. But, you know, it's been a while since I've done a Q&A, and Becky and I like doing Q&A. So if you have any questions for Becky, if you have any questions for Hashtag Team Grandma, uh, Andrew, Emma, you ask, we'll get them on here, and we'll get the questions asked. I, I know Grandma wouldn't get on last time, but she'll get on there now. So uh, if you have any questions at all, just ask, and we will put them in the vlog. So, um, any questions? Hmm? Post in the comments down below. This will be a good Q&A one. I love Q&As. Um, and if anybody has any questions, I don't care what the question is, really. If you put it in there, I'll do my best to answer it. And, um, you know, I'll be brutally honest with you, too, if you guys ask a question. If it's something that I feel that I need to be honest with you about. And I will put that in the... You know, I'll give you guys three days. I guess that'll be Tuesday's video, maybe. Yeah, I suppose we'll do a Q&A for Tuesday. But this will be the one I want you guys to ask it in. And, and then we'll answer all the questions on Tuesday's vlog. Okay? All right, people. Let's get on with the rest of the video. But you'll see at the end is when I came up with the idea for it. So I had to film this part to put in front of the rest of it. So go along with it, guys. I'm not a professional at none of this. You know, I just do it for fun. So, all right, people? All right. 